MJ, what's up? Nighty night, what's up? MJ's over there too, what's up? Jinx myself with the snow comment, now you have snow. Got him. We got him. You like that new build, the one that I posted on Facebook, Nighty? RK, what's up? How we doing? Yeah, it's a solid little build, yeah? All right, I need to, uh, I need to open up the box with the case in it. Uh, we'll give you all another minute or two for people to start rolling in and then we can, we can get started here. Jatana, what's up? Good evening. How are you? It's good to see you in here. I know you're, I know you're in here lurking a lot, so it's good to, it's good to be able to say hi to you. I can just assume you're always in here and say hi to you, you know? <laughs> sexy. I'm dead sexy. Oh, you're talking about the computer. Right, 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 right. Okay, I don't know what it is today. I don't know if it's because of the boots that I'm wearing or what, but in preparing to like stream today, I have shocked myself on my stream deck no less than six times. And the problem is, Every single time I do it, it freaks out and restarts, and then it makes like my um, it makes my cameras go all wonky for a second, and like they, they like restart too. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm so shocking today. I didn't think I did anything different, but apparently I did. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Space face, what's up? Hello chat, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, uh, my stream got speaking. Oh, son of a, I did it again. I literally just did it. Hopefully my cameras don't act up. It literally makes my stream deck restart itself every single time. <laughs> um, okay. I just don't want my stream deck angled quite that far back. It sounds like you need some static Static guard spray, spray that everywhere. It's so weird. It's only like after I've been sitting down or like in this case, I just open the case and pulling out the plastic and stuff. Like it's everything all staticky, but like once I'm done with that, like I can walk around I'm wearing, I can't quite lift my leg high enough. I don't think I'll try it. I'm wearing boots with rubber soles. So I should be fine. It's just, uh, it's mostly that chair. Something about that chair that I sit on makes tons of static. Oh well. You're electric. That's right. That's right, MJ. Nothing much, just chilling. Uh, was not much, just chilling. Chilling was bit uh, watching some CES. Oh, you're watching some of the, the CES 2024 content. Nice. Anything? Anything really catching your eye, Space Face? Colin, what's up? How we doing? Okay. So today's build. Uh, if we can ever not like make our stream deck explode here. Wait, why is it doing it again? I, I didn't even shock you this time, stream deck. That's, that's crap. All right, maybe it's just freaking out in general now. Um, anyway, so build today. We've got, uh, this is exactly, this is the gamer PC off of our website. So I've got the Ryzen 5 5600X. I've got this B550A Pro, RTX 4060, a one terabyte Gen 3 SSD. We've switched to Team Group for this one just because um, I've been noticing some issues with the Mushkin ones we had been using. So we are upgrading people to Team Group now. I need to update on the website. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a uh, nice little EVGA 650 watt power supply, and this deep cool cooler. Also, y'all, I forgot again to empty out my uh, recycle bin. So. You guys just hang out for a second. The fun part is, is for about 90% of this walk out to, I have to go all the way outside to empty this recycle bin. Um, I can still talk to you guys. You can still hear me. I'm gonna look like a crazy person because I'm walking around talking to myself, but at least y'all can hear me. Yeah, I have to, I have to go downstairs, outside. Um, hopefully I can actually open our recycle thing because uh, it's so
Okay, success. I was able to empty my recycling. Now we can put all the new boxes in my little box. If I could get back into my building. There we go. Third try was the charm. It's adventure day. Man, it is still cold outside. Surprise, surprise. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> what do I do with my mic so I can do that? Uh, it's wireless, so it's got a receiver that's connected to my computer. I'm a lot of breath. And so I can just walk away. Pretty cool. What's up, Mark? How we doing? Uh, the OLED monitor from LG. Oh, yeah. That does look really good. 47 ATI suit, like the Supers. And new TVs. Oh, are there new TVs? I didn't even... Oh, are you talking about like the clear TV thing from like Samsung or whoever that was, Sony? Uh, no, there are, there is no DDR5 support for Ryzen 5000 series. So, um, yeah, otherwise we could have tried, but this is definitely meant to be a very budget, like budget conscious computer. So, um, like the 5600X is like 160 bucks, but it's still a really good gaming CPU. CL 163600, this is only like 50 bucks. And then the 4060 is $300. So definitely very budget conscious. Um, this motherboard is only like $110, maybe $120 is the non-Wi-Fi version. Everything about this build is, how can we save money without sacrificing a bunch of performance? Whew. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think I'm done being out of breath. <clears throat> okay. So let's, uh, let's start building, y'all. Yeah? We good with that? We're gonna we're gonna build a computer today. Let's get to it. You want to buy one of those? You want to buy one of these microphones? They're so nice. I think you. I bought like the more expensive model thing that has two microphones, um, the, the receiver, and then it has a little like charging box thing, charging case, kind of like what you would have for your headphones, but much bigger. Um, I, for me, it was worth it. I don't know that it would be worth it for everyone just because it is like $100 extra. I need a nebulizer. I need to just not be out of shape. I just need to stop being so fat. Um, I have been on my feet all day, so it's kind of, apparently my cardio just isn't as good as I thought it would be. And uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? I don't need that. I don't need a CD. Bro, you ride the bike. I know, that's the weird part. Like, I'm fine on the bike. I can, I, I do like, I'll do like interval training. I'll do um, some like higher intensity stuff where I'll just like ride it at a pretty reasonable pace for like 30, 40 minutes. Totally fine. S trying to sprint up a, like a set of stairs in my super heavy boots, apparently. Not fine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, Space Face, there is no DDR5 support at all for the AM4 um, AM4 socket. So you, that's the one, the one downside of, of uh, AMD is like you don't get that choice. Like you can't have, say, like a 5800X3D with DDR5 RAM. Like you have to, you have to upgrade to the new, um, AM5 platform in order to utilize DDR5. It's not ideal, but in some ways it is kind of nice that there's that like clean break. You don't have to worry about compatibility as much. It's, uh, it's just easier. I'm out of gas. <laughs> I'm okay, everything's fine. Everything is fine. My mic is on my desk right now, so I move around. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's how I am. Um, like if I'm playing games, I have my Shure microphone um, and that's the same way. It's very directional. It uh, does a really good job at kind of blocking out background noise and stuff, but that's not really what I want while I'm building computers because I want to be able to do like things like that where I walk into the other room or go out to the recycle bin 
or whatever, and you guys can still hear me. You, I probably cut out a little bit there when I got all the way out to the recycle bin, but for the most part, you know, you guys could hear me huffing and puffing. So, would DDR4 ever go out of style? Um, out of style? Uh, probably not, but I would say it's starting to go out of like, there's a point at which it's no longer use, or it's no longer makes sense to get DDR4. And we're getting very close to that because the, especially with Intel, like you can, there's a lot of CPUs now out that you can buy for Intel that can utilize DDR5 RAM. And so the, the CPUs don't have to be really expensive. And then the RAM has come down in price a lot, especially if you buy, I mean, if you buy like the not as good stuff, but you can get RAM, like good quality DDR5 RAM that's fast for like $100 or less and at 32 gigs. And so it's like, at what point do you just say, my next build is not gonna be DDR4 because it just doesn't make sense, you know? You don't have an upgrade path. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm, I'm I would say probably in the next year and a half, maybe two years, DDR4 is gonna be like completely phased out. Um, at least, at least in like the gaming sphere, like it might still be cheap enough for some of these like workstations and stuff to still be rocking DDR4 um, because it'll be dirt cheap at that point. Um, and they're gonna be using like old, old uh, CPUs and stuff. But for like the gaming and streaming world that, or even like higher end workstation stuff, pretty soon it's not gonna make any sense to, to be on DDR4. Yeah, you'll definitely want to get DDR5 on your next build. Right, if we have a fatty slash out of shape competition, I will be you with my arms tied and my eyes closed. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not like terribly, terribly out of shape, which is why it's so embarrassing to go down the stairs and back up and then be like out of breath. Although generally when I'm doing something like that, I don't sit there and have to talk afterwards. So that probably doesn't help. Like if I wasn't having to, to say anything afterwards, I feel like I would have caught my breath very quickly. But because I'm here and we're talking, that's probably why. Will DDR4 last me a year or two though? Oh, for sure. I'm not saying it's not useful anymore. I'm not saying it will be like, you won't be able to game or anything anymore in a year and a half. It's more of just when you're building a new computer, it won't really make sense after that time to even bother with DDR4. That's kind of what I'm going with. Uh, I just got good news for yourself. I don't have to go to school tomorrow because of the winter weather. Hey, let's go. Are you a teacher or are you like in school? I go up one stair singular and I can't breathe. <laughs> Whiskey's one upmanship over here. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we've got our SSD installed. It's a one terabyte from Team Group. Then we've got our 5600X. Now we can get our deep cool CPU cooler in. And uh, then we'll just need our RAM in here before we get our case out. But yeah, Mark, it's, it's getting very quickly to the point. And I think part of it is, um, you know, part of it's on, on manufacturing, like more so than just like pure performance aspects is like, you know, if you're, you know, why, why have two sets of production uh, runs, one that's doing just DDR4 and the other one that's doing DDR5 or, you know, having, you know, five production like lines that are doing DDR5 and you still have to keep the one bottleneck with DDR4 because people are still buying it. Um, at some point it just like, it just doesn't make monetary, like financial sense to keep doing that when, you know, the whole ecosystem is moving on from DDR4. You wanna upgrade your RAM and motherboard to, a, to newer gens? What are you rocking right now uh, for like RAM, CPU, all that stuff, whiskey? You're a student? Nice space. I've noticed that they still have DDR4 motherboards. Oh yeah, yeah, like they're still out there. Um, and they're, I mean, they're going to be available 
for, I'm sure, longer than two years. It's more of just like the the at, like the standard like practice is going to be let's move to just um, DDR5 rather than like trying to save money with a DDR4. Okay. What I want here, I need these guys, and I need this. Yeah, and it's already noticeable that DDR4 is getting phased out because you'll see that like the high-end DDR4 RAM, the like CL14-3600, which is like the best uh, best quality RAM that you can get for DDR4, is significantly more expensive than like the good DDR5, which is actually better performance anyways. So like you can get CL32-6400 32 gig kit for 115 bucks, 110 bucks, whereas a 32 gig kit of CL14 3600 is like $180. Nothing but an old B550 motherboard, I think 3200 DDR4. Yeah, it's, uh, it'll slow you down, that's for sure. Yeah, that's kind of the hard part about like when people, you know, are asking about upgrading stuff, it's like, yeah, you know how how you know how how much performance do you need? How much are you looking to spend? Because like yeah, we're in kind of a and maybe maybe it's always kind of like this. We're in kind of a weird spot where it's like okay, you either spend a little extra now and then kind of like you're at the the ceiling of what you can do, or you spend a lot now and and move all the way up to you know the next generation stuff. It's tough. DB Sears, what's up? How we doing? I can read my chat on Twitter. Crazy. Not gonna lie, the first time I did it, I did not know how to find the post to be able to read my chat on Twitter. <laughs> but we're here now. These tiny, tiny screws into the bag. There we go. You need a new processor for DDR5? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That'll happen. Okay, so that's all in there. Um, wow, the fan came pre-installed. Deep cool. It's so nice of you guys. It's so nice of you guys. Um, except for, even though it's pre-installed, it is completely in the way. So I guess it is nice of you guys to put it on there, but I have to take it right back off. What processor would you recommend if you were to go DDR5? It really depends on what you're gonna do. <clears throat> if you're just gaming, um, I usually recommend the 5800 or 7800X 3D. Uh, that's I'm, a, I'm an AMD fan, and that's like the best gaming CPU out there. Um, if you want to spend a little less and maybe go with Intel, uh, the 13600K. Is a really good uh, CPU. If you want to spend even less and go DD and stay on DDR5, you can either go with like the Ryzen 5 7600 or the uh, 12600K. There's so many good things out there. I don't know. It just depends. It all depends, man. You want know, the Z7, Z690, and an Intel i9 with 32 gigs? Hey, that's a solid. That's solid. You miss Windows XP. Till Windows 10 and 11 came now. Yeah, I don't, I don't love Windows 11's like user interface and stuff, but it is good for gaming. So we live with it, especially if you have a uh, 12th gen or newer uh, Intel CPU. Um, you kind of need Windows 11. Gaming and editing, you want the best. Uh, if you're doing gaming and editing, then likely either going with an AMD um, CPU that has more cores, like a 7900X or 7900X 3D, or um, you go Intel and get like a 14700K or something like that that has a lot of cores for your editing work. Okay, that's all installed, fan spinning. It's nice, lovely, thank you. Now let's get our RAM in there. 
Are you live elsewhere? Yes, DBCers, I am live on YouTube and Kick. If you wanna head over to youtube.com forward slash Redneck Engineer or just type in Redneck Engineer in the exact same way that you see it spelled on Twitter, uh, minus the underscore, um, then you can find me live right now. We're trying real hard to, uh, to get uh, monetized on the YouTubes, so. You know, every every watch hour, every watch second counts towards that, you know? Okay. So we got all that on there. Everything that's going on to our motherboard is already there. So we're gonna, gonna scooch this over here a little bit. Put our knife away probably for now. And then we'll get our case out. Yo, what's up, Kicked? True, I can understand that I don't mind how Windows 11 is bad or not. I feel like it's a good bio or a good OS for gaming. Yeah, exactly. It's a good OS. Um, mostly just because Windows 10 didn't have the capability of dealing with um, the efficiency cores and performance cores separately very well. So that's kind of the kind of the crux of why Windows 11 is necessary, especially for those. I'm not the one giving this PC away. Uh, if you read the description, this is for one of my partnered uh, creators to give away to his community. There we go. Okay, we got the accessory kit out there. We don't need to mess with those front fans beyond that. Yeah, and besides when I do giveaways, I don't typically Unless I have like a friend or someone that I know really well that's in need, I typically do it as like a random give giveaway. It's not like, hey, I picked the winner. That's not, it's not super fair to the community. Okay, got this thing all opened up. Before we forget, let's get our IO Shield installed. Make sure I bend all these guys back far enough. The last computer I built, I didn't bend back the uh, little tab there for the ethernet and it was kind of in the way. So we'll be a little smarter this time. The specs on this build is a Ryzen 5 5600X, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, one terabyte SSD. Got this MSI B550A Pro uh, motherboard. RTX 4060 and a 650 watt power supply. It is the gamer PC that is on my website. So if you didn't retain all that, you can find it there. Okay. Let's get this in here. Cool. All right, this is set up for an ATX motherboard. Get our get our bolts out here. Get all these bolts started. Thank <laughs> you. 
them all started. Time to tighten them down. Windows can't download, can't download anything? What do you mean? What happens when you try and download something? Alrighty, there we go. That is fully tied down. Um, I'm gonna get the power cable in for the CPU first, and then I'm gonna add in another, uh, we're gonna add in a rear fan. But first, it's Lazy Susan time. Get it nice and centered on the runner down there. Okay, we're good. All right. Get that lazy Susan out. Make sure you throw up some lazy Susan emojis if you're in the kick chat. Let her know. Let her know that you're excited to see her. Woo! Mark, we should have. Uh, there's like a lazy Susan specific. Uh, she's got her own emoji. She's got her own emote in the chat. And you should have access to it. I think it's for all followers. I don't think you need to be a subscriber to do it. Okay. Got, I don't need our big power cable yet. So CPU's there. I don't think we need SATAs. Throw that down there. Got our motherboard. Take those out. Take those out. All right. We need just this little CPU power cable here that I just smacked myself in the face with. There we go. Got that plugged in. We'll run that to the back. All right, now let's get, make sure we have one of these GPU cables. Yeah, we got that. And then I'm gonna grab a fan for the exhaust because I've got extras back here. We'll throw one in there. Got one of these little NZXT fans that we've pulled off of one of our numerous builds with the NZXT case. So we'll utilize that. <clears throat> Get a little bit better airflow in the case, not that this case really needs the extra airflow, <clears throat> but you know, why not? And I think, I think this will be long enough to reach down to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. 
XWS, what's up? How you doing? Okay, got that fan in there. Run it down to the bottom and plug it in real quick. Okay, <clears throat> so now we've got front fans, got the fan on the CPU cooler, and we've got another um, fan as the exhaust for the whole PC. Here we go. back. All right, let's plug in all of our front IO here. First, we got our HD audio. Hatfield, what is up, my guy? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Got our HD audio in. There we go. Okay, we got a USB 3. Okay, USB 3 is down there at the bottom. I think we gotta do it this way. Just make sure it fits. There we go. Um, what do we have? I think we I think on this model we just have a power button for the for the front. Oh, I do need a SATA. I do need a SATA. I didn't even see that up there. Not bad, just chilling. Doesn't sound too bad to me. There we go. So, yes, just a power switch from the front panels. So we'll get that separated out here. Okay. Power switch going right in there. Cool. Okay. Next we got some RGB there. Um, I think down at the bottom might look cleaner, so let's do that. I'll take off this little tag here, because it's gonna be sticking out. Nobody wants to see that. How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully some of y'all were as lucky as me to not have to have worked today. Had the day off, it was nice. Okay, next we've got the front two fans to connect in. So we got this one and this one. We're gonna run this one up to the top. So we've got a system fan header right up here, or I guess that's technically pump fan. So let's do that then actually. We're gonna run both of these guys up to the top and use up those two system fan headers. Like a this. Just like that. Okay. Um, that's really everything that's gonna get plugged in up there. So we can get a couple of zip ties going here. My games that download just says error. Hmm. It's 
Good question. I mean, are they getting blocked by like your Windows Defender firewall or something? Oh, there's a small child not having fun in the building. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully not. I um, I work, or my, my office that I rent is in the same building as a like pediatric therapy. So they do like speech therapy, motor function, all that good stuff. So occasionally, occasionally it gets a little loud. Looks like a nice case. It is a nice little case, especially for the price. You can get this case for like $60 and it comes with the two front fans that are addressable RGB and everything. It's not bad. You reinstalled Windows and it still doesn't work. It might be getting blocked by like your firewall or something. I have to check your Windows firewall, like Defender firewall settings or something. Okay, so we got that all kind of nice and tightened up. We can do the same with our CPU power cable on the other side. Other clipping points down there, so I can use. I'll use that one. Yo, what's up, Richard? How we doing? So, did your um, did your case ship yet, Richard? I think I saw you said your SSD shipped. You were trying to get. Did your did your case ship yet? All right, it's time to get our beautiful blue power supply installed. Let's get our CPU in there first. Check. ETA Thursday. Let's go. It's about time. How many months has it been since you ordered that that case? I'm not laughing at you. I promise. I'm laughing. Uh, the ridiculousness of the situation, okay? Just wanna make sure that's clear, chat. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Got everything connected in there. Currently working on copying the old SSD, nice. Really too tight to fit underneath those cables. She's a chunky boy. If I go behind him, there we go. That's better. Can load off. There we go. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Now we're in there. It's been two months. Two months to buy a case, chat. Now you see why when I said. When I made that, uh, that video on YouTube, I was like, this is the nicest case that nobody can buy right now. Because <laughs> Richard ordered his like a couple of days, I think, after that case released and got stuck waiting two months. I had to wait three or four weeks and I ordered it the day it released. Phone's going off. So, next we can get our motherboard power cable in here. Ah, it's pushing all my cable ties around. All right, let's get 
motherboard power Ugh. through that. That's a chonky cable. I can't fit through this pass through, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They made this thing so friggin' fat. You can't get it through the pass through. <laughs> Come on, EVGA. That's ridiculous. I have to get a little forceful there. There we go. I basically just pushed hard enough to bend the uh, the metal of the the case a little bit. Don't worry, nothing was harmed. Okay, there we go. Motherboard power is installed. Okay, we need to plug in this SATA power here, like this. Okay, and then this guy is gonna get fed through the front. Do a little bit of cable management over here. It's okay, I'll fix that in a minute. Yo, Uncle Bud, what's up? You need some lube for that, bro. Seriously. I've never seen the like heat shrink and stuff on a connector for the motherboard be so stinking thick. That was wild. Okay. Here's all that. And then we're gonna do a little bit of that. Use one of these included EVGA cable ties at the bottom. What are the specs on this bad boy? Uncle Bud, this has a Ryzen 5 5600X, an RTX 4060, 16 gigs of DDR4 CL16 3600 RAM, one terabyte SSD from Team Group, Gen 3, um, and a nice little uh, air cooler from Deep Cool. 650 watt power supply. And then this uh, nice little magnium gear. Is that what they're calling themselves now? Yeah, magnium gear, Neo Air case. There we go, Richard's got it. If you have $700 to build a new PC, would it be a good PC? Because I think I am going to get um, a new one. This one. The one that I have right now is giving you a hard time. $700, $700 can get you an a usable PC for sure. Um, if you're not like gaming right away, or if you have a gaming PC already, I would say try and put that full $700 towards everything except for the GPU. Um, and maybe see if you can reuse the GPU you have because that'll get you a lot more life out of the build that you do. Because the GPU is a, like an expensive bit. And if you already have one then like an old build that you could swap over, I think that would be like that would be the best thing you can do to get a, a good quality build that'll actually last. Because if you're only spending $700 on the whole build, like it's not gonna take very long for it to feel like, like it's not good enough, you know? I feel like Loot Fest is going to be huge this year. It really looks like it, man. Like we've got like huge names like Z Laners going, like got, uh, you know, Dr. Lupo going. Um, I saw Spartacus just announced that he's coming. I mean, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, so got that up there. Let's get our RTX 4060 installed. And then we're, you know, we're 94% done here. Yeah, Loot Fest, Uncle Bud. A bunch of people are going to Loot Fest this year.
Yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right. Lupo did go last year, but still, I mean, he's a huge creator. Um, I'm trying to think, I mean, you know, there's like uh, Sergeant Jackson, like a lot of really big newer like uh, kick readers that have gone pretty big this year. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited for it. There's a lot of people that I want to meet this year. <clears throat> Loopfest.co, that's right. Vampiric Ghost, what's up? I don't have a good PC. You got a Dell? Well, you know, hit me up if you're uh, if you're interested in a build. This is I'm not the one giving this one away. This is getting give this is being given away by uh, one of my partnered uh, content creators. So Pur Purple Haze uh, is giving this away. If I'm not mistaken, they've already selected the winner for it. Um, so I'm just I'm building it, and then he's giving it away to the to the winner of the the giveaway he did. Yes, Panda Skills is going. I'm really excited to meet Panda. Um, I met Panda Skills, like not in person, but like I met him um, a couple years ago. I built him uh, a PC really long ago, before even, uh, it was before Ryzen 5000 series came out. That's how long ago um, I built his PC and he's still using it. That's still his gaming PC to this day. He's got a Ryzen 5 3600 with like a 3060 Ti or something in it. Still works. Crazy. And he's blowing up. All right, there we go. Navy, what's up, my guy? I was running late, but uh, thank goodness this is a, this is a easy little PC to build fast. Cause I didn't start until much later than I should have. Uh, Vampire, uh, Vampir, this is a 4060. So this exact build you can find on my website at redneckengineer.com, Vampiric. Uh, it runs for $1249.99 or just $1249. That includes uh, shipping and taxes and everything. And you can also, if you buy it off the website, you can uh, use um, a firm. So if you wanted to pay it off over time, you could do that. It is a hell of a deal, Navy. It is a hell of a deal, man. 12.49 for baller 1080p gaming. I mean, come on. What are we talk? What are we even talking about here? What are we talking about? Blowing up even with the small dumplings, you know, even with the little ones. You don't, need, you don't even need big dumplings. You can do it. You can do it with the little ones. It's true. It's true. You know, being being part Asian myself, I can. I can empathize with the, you know, the small dumplings. Sometimes you just do what you gotta do with the egg roll you got, okay? Do what you gotta do with the egg roll that was given to you. Uh, I found a PC with a 4070 for just, just uh, an extra $200. Here's the thing. When you, when you buy something that is that ridiculously cheap from some giant company, the chances of it actually using high quality, oh, sorry, I didn't show you guys. Here you go. Is that, uh, is that approved? We good, we good with that, uh, that cable management chat? My pre owned PCs are available with the Affirm financing. That is correct, Richard. When it comes to dumplings, it is about the size. It is all about the volume. It's fair. All right, we good with that? We, we good with this, uh, we good with that cable management? I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Vampiric. So when you buy, when you buy a PC that's that ridiculously cheap and being from, being on Amazon, it likely means either there's gonna be crap components in there, like they're probably gonna cheap out on like the motherboard, maybe the RAM, maybe the CPU cooler. A lot of times they really cheap out on power supplies. Um, it might be in a case that doesn't have great airflow. Um, it might not have, like a lot of those companies don't do a great job of building everything properly. So like build quality, stuff shows up broken, stuff shows up not working. You know, there's a lot of reasons not to buy a pre-built PC from a giant company. 
uh, it'll last you for a year at the most. Exactly. If that, like I, Mark, there's so many people too that I know that have bought PCs from like Cyber Power and like some of these other like really, really big names. And then like they return them within like 60 days because they show up and it doesn't work and they get on the phone with like the company and like they can't get it fixed and, or like they can't seem to like get it sorted out and eventually they just like return it. So it's, yeah. It's an empowered PC. Yeah, an 11700F, you're pairing that with a 4070. Um, also throwing in a hard drive, like a spinning hard drive. Um, and if it's 32 gigs of RAM, that means it's 32 gigs of DDR4. And if it doesn't say what it is, it might not be um, good RAM either. <clears throat> yeah, that, I mean, that's, they're trying to sell you hardware that's, that, that, uh, that CPU is from 2019. Like it's, it's not a, you know, they're, they're trying to sell you on the, they're like, oh, it's an i7. Like they say, oh, it's an i7 and a 4070. We're like, well, yeah, it's an ancient i7 and a bunch of other like junky hardware. Like that's, that's exactly what that is, man. I'm, like you're, you can buy it. That's, that's totally fine. Like you, you spend your money however you want. Um, but it's not gonna compare to a high quality build like something that I'm putting together. Just won't. Uh, 11th gen, so. <clears throat> The specs on the $1,400 PC that has a 4070. It's from Empowered, Empowered PC Sentinel Gaming. 4070, uh, an eight-core i7-11700F. 11700F, so not only is it an 11th gen, it's an F with no K chip, so it's gonna be, um, it's not gonna have a high boost clock. So one strike against it. it. Says 32 gigs of RAM. I mean, we don't know what kind of RAM. It's just gonna be DDR4. <clears throat> we can look it up later. Um, it's only got a 500 gig main SSD, and then the secondary is a hard drive. A hard drive. Uh, you don't want to put your games on that, because that's going to make it slower. And that's all the information that it gives. Five hundred twelve gigs is not a significant amount of data because the first hundred gigs, the first like good chunk of that is used up by the operating system, and games nowadays take up a ton of space. Like, <clears throat> just just Warzone by itself is eighty gigabytes. If you also wanted Modern Warfare on there, that's another like sixty gigabytes. <clears throat> you know, Apex Legends is going to be, <clears throat> I think it's in the fifty to sixty gigabyte range. F one twenty two is like forty to sixty gigabytes. 512 gigabytes does not go very far. And then everything after that you're putting, you're putting on your hard drive, which is very, very much slow comparatively. Um, yeah, a hard drive, a hard, an HDD is just like really no, no good for you at this point. I mean, it's, it's, it's great for if you just like have stuff that you want to store and you don't need to access very often, but if you're playing games, or have stuff that you're like constantly accessing, it's not great. You don't want it. Fifty hours of four K video on five hundred gigs. I don't know about that. I guess maybe at a lower bit rate. Cause I record some of my stuff and after about 20 to 30 minutes, I have a full gigabyte of, uh, I have a full gigabyte of stuff stored and that's not even at 4K, that's at 1440p. So I don't think you're getting anywhere near that much. Yeah. You're gonna warm up, I'll see you in Discord. All right, Navy. Well. Chat, you know what time it is. This PC is built. It's done. It's ready to go. Um, so, and you, you know what I need. I'm gonna need some fire emojis up in the chat. Let's get it toasty in here so that we can show off this brand new build. Cause I know you guys wanna see it. 
I know you've seen it a million times. Well, maybe like a hundred times at this point. I'm not trying to get you to buy anything. I'm just trying to tell you what you're buying. We'll, uh, maybe we'll take a look at that build on Amazon and we'll, we'll uh, be able to make a more informed, make a more informed uh, decision on it. <clears throat> Vampiric, I'm not trying to make you buy anything. You're the one that was talking about buying something. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you lies to buy your PC. I already told you, I'm not trying to sell you anything. If you wanna buy something, you're more than welcome to. I'm just telling you why you maybe shouldn't buy that PC and giving you examples of stuff that I build versus that build. <clears throat> okay, buddy. All right, fire emojis in the chat. I see Jatana, Uncle Bud, Richard coming here, Mark Barreto. This is why you're an angry person, because you, you don't listen. All right, who's ready? The first fire up of this PC that's being given away to a lucky person in Purple Haze's community. Oh yeah. Hey, Caked, none of that, none of that sort of stuff. He can be an angry, he can be an angry human being. He's not gonna pull us down with him. I was answering the question and telling him why he shouldn't waste his money, but you know, some people just like to be angry. It's okay. They can be angry. They can throw fits. They can misconstrue everything that I've said. It's all right. All right. I'm gonna let you all enjoy the RGB for a minute here while I swap my camera over so we can play some games. And then we're gonna pull up this, uh, we're gonna pull up this amazing computer and see what it actually looks like. Because I've got a sneaking suspicion that it's not very nice. We'll tear it apart. Not physically, I'm not gonna buy it. Mage, I don't know if I actually said hi to you. I was a little bit distracted, but hi. I appreciate you saying hi. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Just moving my camera around. Don't mind me. Let me back over here so I can read read the chat. Hey, it, bo it booted. Cool. Red provides great info where some people would charge for the same info. It's true. It's true. I help people out all the time. People are constantly asking me questions, and I help them out. A lot of times for free. And I actually have sold a lot of computers. So, in case you didn't realize, uh, it's in the it's in the description. 171 computers so far. And that's with zero advertising. Like, I haven't paid for an ad. It's just people spreading the good word of Redneck Engineer. <laughs> um, yes, on this one, Uncle Bud, so what you'll do, so see this little, this, this little cable right there? That is going to these two front fans and then on this one, this is an MSI. So you'll download MSI Center, and then within MSI Center is an app called Mystic Light. And with that, you will be able to adjust the RGB for those front fans. On this case, you can also like, I don't know if you have to actually disconnect this cable, but you can essentially like control it, um, like override the motherboard and control it with some buttons on the top of the case if you don't want to use that, that RGB software.
Y'all, we got a troll. That's the, that's the first troll we've had in the, the YouTube chat, I think. I think that's the first YouTube troll we've had. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, appreciate y'all hanging out on... I'm going to end the Twitter stream real quick. And then... Let's, uh, while you, while the YouTube folks are still here. Let's do this. Hold on, hold on. Let's look up. Let's look up this, uh, let's look up this computer. Oh, I need to move my chats over so I can read it and read stuff. Give me one second. Yeah, if not the first, it's the first one in a long time on uh, on YouTube, that's for sure. Okay, Navy's warming up. He's going to have to spend a little more time warming up cuz we're going to we're going to take a look at this. We're going to see just how good or bad this computer is. All right. Okay. I can read my chats now. I'm going to take this. I don't need this microphone on anymore. Okay. Switch to my business account. Okay. <clears throat> he said it's called Empowered PC Sentinel Sentinel Gaming Desktop. Uh, let's type in 4070. So I'm with 3080. Oh my god, this is going to be so bad. 57. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Item removed. Doesn't even show up anymore. Okay. It's a little <laughs> These are all removed. You can't even buy them. Bro, look at this one star. <laughs> my man. My man. You <laughs> They're all so bad. Okay, let's see if we can even find the one. Let's see, we got NVIDIA. Processor count eight. So 11, it's gotta be this one. Item removed, it's not even on there. Okay, it's 1449, this is probably the one he's talking about. Okay, let's start before we, before we even look inside. Before we even look inside. He's going places with that one star PC, it's, it's true. Yo, what's up, Lucas? Dirty Bird coming in with the host, my guy. Bro, thank you so much for that huge raid 25 viewers sheesh sheesh okay okay so we're uh we're we're looking at someone came into the chat drunk mechanic thank you for the follow all right so someone came into the youtube chat earlier and said um dampers thank you for the follow as well they said hey there's this there's this computer on amazon that's only fourteen hundred dollars it's only 150 dollars more two hundred dollars more and it's got a 4070 in it. Like, why would I ever buy this? So let's just uh, let's just take a look at why why you don't buy some of these PCs from from Amazon. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna look at it. All right. So starting with the front, there is almost no airflow. Look at that. That's a solid front. You've got just this tiny tiny little slide slot there. Maybe there's some one on the other side. So you got two small slots to try and suck some air in for that, that thirsty 4070. Okay. So there's the first strike against it. Okay. You know, nothing wrong with that. Whatever. All right. It's at least got top ventilation. That's nice. All right. So that's all the information that you can get out of that. Okay. Next thing. It's got a core i7 11700F. So it's a non overclockable chip. It's 11th gen, so it's on a really old platform, not upgradable in any way. 
Um, yeah, <clears throat> it's an F chip, so there's no um, no integrated graphics, which is fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's more information that you didn't put in there. The RAM, he said, it's, oh, it's got 32 gigs of RAM. Well, it's 3,200 megahertz, so it's slow RAM, not good quality RAM. The hard drive is only 500 gigs. doesn't say what level of um, NVMe SSD, but it's only 500 gigs. And then the secondary is a 7,200 RPM hard drive. It's got a hard drive in there for the secondary, which means if you're putting any games or anything on that secondary, it's going to be slow as Okay. Okay. Um, probably built in a case. Oh yeah. It's got terrible airflow. Dirty bird. I appreciate you so much, man. I hope you had a great stream. Um, okay. The one redeeming factor, it has an RTX 4070. Okay. Some sort of Z590 motherboard. Okay. We don't really know. Power supply. It's an undersized power supply. 650 watt bronze, a bronze power supply, 650 watt. You're paying almost $1,500, you know, 1450 plus tax um, for a 650 watt. So an undersized bronze, bronze power supply. Okay. Don't do that. Don't buy If you're buying anything over like, if your PC is more than like $800, don't buy a bronze power supply. Just don't. And don't undersize it, especially if you're going to do bronze. Lucas, it's good to see you, man. I'm doing good. Not the YouTube troll with 16 subs. Got him. Skill issue. Um, yeah. Okay. So Windows 11, fine. That's whatever. Accessories, wired LED backlit USB gaming keyboard and mouse. Wow. So, um, let's look at some of these, uh, low reviews here. Don't buy from Jacob. For those who don't know, PCs, this isn't a good investment. This CPU is pretty crappy and the SSD isn't going to be enough to last you. I said that. They throw that GPU number. This is this exactly this is exactly what I told him. They throw that GPU out there for people who don't know. It says RTX, and they think it's gonna be a good PC. Well, it's not. It's a bad PC. You can build this exact PC for like seven hundred dollars if you're willing to look around the web. Basically, a scam. Thank you. What are their What are their one stars say? Froze, dead on arrival. Insurance protection I purchased are worthless. They would hang up. So not only did he he buy this, he bought the insurance protection stuff, and they wouldn't even help. Ridiculous. Not connecting to the monitor. The PC clearly turns on and works, but for some reason won't connect to any of the monitors. So they didn't ship it properly, and the GPU broke in shipping. That's what that's what's happening there. Uh, I do not think I buy and uh, build it. Okay, bad English. But when sending me the PC, I noticed this is back in 2020. So they're probably buying something different. They're buying a different version from what we are seeing now, but it's uh, it's bad. And the 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 five star people are just like it 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 can it connected. You can tell the difference between the people who, you know, don't know about computers, and the people who do. They're like, wow, it actually worked when it showed up. Wow, I'm able to play games. It's not loud. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So when people tell you, this is this is why when people tell me, hey, I can get that, I can get an RTX 4070 for two hundred dollars more than your computer. This is why. Okay. <laughs> it's trash. This computer is trash. Just got here, but I can already tell this must not be a good PC. It's a piece of shit. Don't buy it. Okay. Someone in the YouTube chat thought they knew better than me. They thought that I'm trying to over like sell overpriced stuff uh, just because I want the money and I apparently don't sell any computers or something. Um, and he goes, this is the, this PC, my brother uses it. He loves it. Come on. Now who's trolling? <laughs> yeah, go. F no, I'm just kidding. We'll be nice, but we'll be as nice as we can be. That's kind of, I think that's about as nice as I can be is that that thing that he suggested is a absolute hunk of junk, literal garbage. Also, I mean, he said we only had eight views. No, we had eight viewers. We've got 42 views on our, uh, our YouTube stream tonight. That's pretty, 
That's pretty good for me. You're getting a free 6060 GPU. I mean, like 6600. That's not a bad little GPU, especially for free. Can't wait to get your power supply and SSD so I can ship your parts to you. Yeah, buddy. I'm excited. Uh, Caked, I'll be on uh, kick for the games. Um, Trap steered you away from buying a pre-built from Corsair. Yeah, Corsair. Corsair, I mean, everyone. Corsair, um, even Asus. Like, they just, I just don't know what they do. Do you recommend your pre-built signature PC or a custom build with a budget of 2K? Um... If you don't need to do any sort of um, financing, I would probably go uh, custom just because you can kind of, I mean, you can customize it and you can customize it towards what you want. It's a great build. Don't like, do not, don't hear what I'm not saying. Like it's a great build, but if you, you know, if you have specific things that you're doing with your computer or whatever, like it can be, it's very nice to be able to just like kind of customize what you want, you know? Customize the look or whatever. Your son steered you away from buying a pre bill from Amazon as well. See? Someone someone has to preach the good word of the garbage that is pre built PCs on Amazon. Or or Best Buy. Or Asus or whatever. I know Asus makes really good stuff like for their like components, but they just they just like they could fall into the same trap as like Alienware and some of these other crappy PCs that people put on Amazon where they just, they don't get good airflow. They don't give them enough cooling. They, you know, use OEM parts that you can't replace. It's, yeah. Amazon, the Harbor Freight of PCs. <laughs> Want it to work for the next four months? Here you go. Yeah, Harbor Freight is... If I, if I, you know, if it's either something that's like super non-technical, like I have my, um, my little, uh, pallet, what are those called? Andy, mm. what are those little hand carts? I got a little hand cart, uh, from Harbor Freight. Cause it's like, you know, there's nothing really that can go wrong with it or like a hammer or something. But when you want like a power tool, you don't go to Harbor Freight. <laughs> Alienware also has terrible, terrible airflow in a lot of their stuff. You're right. Okay. YouTube people. YouTube people, if you want to keep hanging out. You guys got a foot of snow? Hey, we did too. Like the other night. Um, if you want to keep hanging out, we're going to be playing some games with Mr. Navy141 over on Kick. So if you're not following uh, on Kick yet, head on over to kick.com forward slash redneck engineer. I'll put it in the chat. Um, and you can, uh, keep hanging out with us over there. Listen to this man. This guy was wanting $300 for his PC. So I traded him and it was a piece of crap, man. I started to look inside. It was nasty and all I needed was GPU. So I bought one for 80 bucks. Nice. That's sick. Okay. Be where the cool people are. <laughs> okay. Chat. Thank you so much for those of you that are on, on YouTube. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you defending me. Um, from the craziness that was going on up there. I don't know what that guy was thinking, but whatever. Anyways, if you're in YouTube, thank you so much for hanging out. Head over to Kick. I um, I need to use the little boys' room, and then we're going to hop into Call of Duty. Okay? So enjoy enjoy the uh, the intermission, and uh, take a look at the, the PC we built tonight. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat, and I'll... Respond to them as soon as I get back. But uh, until then, good night, YouTube. Good night, YouTube. <laughs>